Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do an unboxing video with you guys and I just got home and I found this in front of my door and this is my Natio order. So Osseo had a sale on Natio products and I got a few because cheap <laughs> everything was like two three dollars so nature is a brand I have been wanting to try and since they had a sale I got a few things so I'm just about to open the packet and hopefully it doesn't end up like my Australis unboxing video where some of the things were a little bit broken this time they have a big orange fragile um, tape over it so okay oh man from the get-go seriously uh, I don't think I'm gonna order makeup like powder form makeup from I was sale again because no nah. not starting off in a good note like the stuff arrives sealed but even though they're putting it in a padded bag I think they need to wrap these individually I don't know if the stuff breaks before they get them now nah, they wouldn't put them in a package if they're broken Fuck. Oh. why did I try to open I knew this was gonna happen <laughs> what I even have the bin right next to me so I could open it on top of the bin but no I'm like absent-mindedly talking to you guys and I've opened it and oh why oh, why I even I even tried to avoid this. <laughs> did you hear that that was me trying to get all the eyeshadow off the top of the envelope into the bin and I tipped it and all, the, all my stuff fell into the bin. Okay, this is not going well. This is not going well. <laughs> all right, so I've thrown out whatever is broken, which is basically the whole eyeshadow. It's hard to impress me now because it's broken. Mm. Pigmentation is kind of lacking. They're very shimmery, like satiny. Can you see that? Yeah, no. I'm sorry, Nacio. I don't even know if I'll keep this. Eyeshadow, sorry, eye definer in clove. This is not broken, huzzah. So I'm gonna assume it's like an eyeliner, but when I got it, it kinda, I kinda wanted it as an eyeshadow. Um, I kinda wanted it as an eyebrow thing. Now I can't open this. It's all right, actually it's not too bad. It's nice and soft. I think as a crease color it would be. Okay, next is this eyeshadow duo. It is the Highlight and Define Mineral Eyeshadow Duo. And it has a little picture on the back on where you should place the eyeshadows. The picture on the back is basically showing a sandwich application where you have light, dark, light on your eyes. All right, that's the black. It's kind of really dark gray. You need to kind of build it up to get that color. And the white is... Just a frosty white. Okay, not really impressed with their eyeshadows. I got two of these pressed powders. They are bronzer and enhancer powders. So they're kind of half and half. One's in warm day and the other one is in sunshine. And the packaging is not see-through. So I'm going to open this over the bin because I don't want any more disasters. Even though they're funny, but... Someone's got to clean them up. <laughs> Alright. And I really hope they're not broken because they were really, really pretty. Yay! Ah! Alright, this is Warm Day. How cute is that? It's like two leaves. Huzzah! And this is the Sunshine one. Okay, so Warm Day has... I just did. I just like planted the lid of this and scratched the compact. 
I'm seriously not ready to unbox this yet. Like, like I'm just driven on ruining everything. Anyway, no biggie. It's not too bad. All right. All right, so Warm Day has the pink highlighter and Sunshine has a more tan highlighter. Or gold, I should say. Let's give these guys a swatch. All right, let's swatch these. I'm gonna swatch Sunshine first. That's the bronzer and that's the highlighter. Honestly, looking at it, it's like straight up bronze color and straight up gold. So, uh, quite shimmery. That's Warm Day on the bottom. Uh, the bronzer part is really similar to the sunshine and the highlight is kind of just a really, really light frosty pink. I'm actually kind of underwhelmed with these. They just look so pretty and I always thought Natio wasn't too bad for their makeup, but yeah, not so. Hmm. All right, I'm going to try some on. I'm going to try this pink one. I guess it gives like a really subtle glow, but in terms of color, I don't know. Maybe a little bit, maybe. And you can see the swatches here aren't like, you know, they're heavier than what they would be on your face, but let me try the other one. Maybe it's a bit darker, a little bit powdery. This one's got the gold. Yeah, it gives you like a highlighting effect. I mean, you can see it now, kind of kind of bouncing off my cheeks there, but uh, in terms of color, I don't think it gives much color. It's a very subtle highlighter, and that's when I'm swirling both colors together. So, not very pigmented in terms of color, but in terms of uh, as a highlighting effect, it's actually not too bad. The more I look at it, the more I like it. It's nice and subtle, so you can't overdo it. Like, you won't end up looking like a clown. <laughs> Moving on is a Natio hand cream. All right, so that's the consistency. A little bit runny. Actually, it's quite wet. It's not a thick um, hand cream. Oh, it's supposed to be yoga scent yoga scent pink lotus atar the hell <laughs> mystical aroma to bring mind to a calm still center the natio meditate hand cream it kind of smells like old clothes you know when you, have, when you have clothes stored away for a very long time, like for example, you put your, your winter stuff away and then like in winter you pull them out again. Yeah, it smells like, it smells like old clothes. Kinda, a little bit. Mm -hmm. The hand cream itself feels nice. Okay, next we have the liquid eyeliner in black, I think I got it. Oh, it's plum black, mm, plum black. It's quite liquidy and when you spread it out, it kind of thins out too much. Like, yeah. I mean, not like you're going to be spreading the eyeliner out, but if you go back to redraw the line on the same spot, I feel like it would make it fade. Okay, next we have Pure Mineral. Next we have their Pure Mineral Eye Brightener. And I'm quite excited to try this one because, as you know, I love me some bright under eyes. I think the applicator sponge is actually grey. Alright, so there it is. It's just a light pink. I think it's more of a kind of a light reflector. You know what? I'm going to try some on over my makeup. Taking my favorite brush for under eye concealer. It actually sets quite quickly, so... <laughs> I was too slow in blending it out. That's good to know. See the patches there? Yeah. Not cute. <laughs> 
Sorry for the extreme close-up, but... Yeah. Oh wow, it's like totally... Totally set. I kind of didn't expect it to set because it was quite liquidy when I was putting it on. So I thought I'd have enough time to at least blend it out. I didn't take that long to go from application to brush, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to try this out another time. Try and be a bit faster with it. But yeah. <laughs> I just noticed it has a lot of shimmer. So... Yeah, I can actually see the shimmer under my eyes. It's not too bad, but I'm gonna have to try the concealer under my foundation because then the shimmer might make it look really luminous and bright. Whereas now it's just sitting on top and the fact that I didn't blend it out before it set, I don't think I'm doing it any justice. So I'm gonna try it out tomorrow underneath my foundation. Okay, next I have a lipstick. This is Lip Pout in Shine. And yeah, when I um <laughs> when I saw it on the listing, I'm like, what color is that? Is that just like just shimmer with a clear base? And I was just intrigued. So because it's so cheap, I ended up getting it just to try it. So it just looks like a whole bunch of shimmer on a stick. <laughs> And it also has a dint. I don't know how it would have a dint because it was sealed. It looks like it looks like someone went to put the cap back on and kind of hit the edge of the lipstick. Mm -hmm. But it's not tried on or anything. I mean, you can tell. So yeah. All right. So yeah, it's just it's just there. It's just shimmer. Let's see what it looks like on the lips. Let's try this on. It's just shimmer. So I guess you could wear this over lipsticks that you wanted to give it a bit of a shimmer. And the last two things are these lip butters. So I've got two of them. One of them's in peachy and the other one's in candy. All right, so starting with peachy. This is the color. It's just a sheer corally peach color not too bad I don't mind that it's not too orange I think it's a nice balance yeah I don't mind that one finally something that's actually semi-decent <laughs> okay and the last thing is the candy one that's the color actually it's just a nice medium pink all right so this is the pink one I quite like these, these butter lipsticks. Feel nice, not sticky. They're not slipping around too much. They're kind of semi-matte as well. So I kind of kind of like it. Yeah. I like them. Okay, so that was all the Natio products that I bought to try. Well, let's just say that I don't feel like I've been missing out by not trying Nishio products. They're okay. Uh, they're, most of their powder products I wasn't too impressed with. I guess if you're more into lighter makeup and not very pigmented, then sure, go for it. As far as Ozsale goes, I don't think I'll order powdered-based makeup from them again because this is the second order that I... third, actually third order that I got that had powder based things like blushes, face powders and all three times they've been, there has been damage to the powders uh, liquid based products like foundations and things like that that's fine I mean you know what can go wrong so yeah it's still clear getting things that can break <laughs> like powders yeah also, it takes ages to get your stuff, which is something I knew when I ordered the things, but it kind of gets old fast when, you know, you order something and you're waiting for like a month and a half to get it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that is my unboxing and I'll see you guys next time on my channel. See ya.